there is nothing the Steelers can do right now at all to make him a sweeter pot. So this is the deal. Uh, you want to play or not play, and he's choosing just to not play. I mean, let's go through his career. He's missed three games as a rookie with a foot injury. Missed the wild card game in 2014 with an knee hyperextension. Missed 12 games in 2015 because of suspension, torn MCL. Missed four games in the last three seasons, three to suspension, one to the rest. So if you're thinking about, if you're an owner, like, I'm not going to pay you at a wide receiver position where it's much more likely for you to be hurt as a running back because that's the mosh pit that you get into. The numbers dictate it. If you're in that locker, yeah. aren't you so mad that Rob Bell isn't there? I would think so. As we've been talking about all this week, when you are slotting money yeah. for a 53-man roster, anywhere you think you can save money and find yourself cash to buy another decent player, in the meantime, James Conner responsible for seven of the ten longest plays for the Pittsburgh Steelers just yesterday. Oh my goodness, welcome to the alternate NFL universe where the Steelers are trading Le'Veon Bell to the New York Giants. For cornerback Janoris Jenkins, they're looking for that complimentary guy. They're not confident in Ross Cockrell. He's had a bad preseason. They need a guy opposite Artie Burns. They're picking up a rookie defensive tackle to add some depth. Oh my goodness. So what does that mean? It can only mean one thing. James Conner is the new starting running back of the Pittsburgh Steelers. That is right. I am creating an out in the middle of nowhere kind of series with James Conner being the guy to lead the Pittsburgh Steelers in the backfield. I told you I was going to come up with a player series. Um, it's been something that's been on my mind. I was thinking of a way to spin it. And with this preseason drama that we've been seeing with Le'Veon Bell and the Pittsburgh Steelers, I found my opportunity. The Pitt product back in Pittsburgh as a rookie expected to be depth. But after a wild change of events, the Steelers have bolstered their secondary and now are relying on James Conner to be the man in the backfield. They still have weapons with Ben, Brown, Bryant, and now James Conner is looking to be the next big star of this Steelers offense. All right, so uh, we already started with Cleveland scoring a quick one. And so um, I screwed up here. I don't really know what happened with the camera angle, but we lost something. So Antonio Brown did get a first down. So here we go. Big Ben back to pass on first down, lobbing one deep, and that is going to fall out of the hands of Eli Rogers. Um, now before I do say anything, um, well first off, James Conner, you're going the wrong way. I'm not used to this camera angle. So, um, expect some kind of sloppy gameplay. Um, like, I probably could have played that screen better. But I wanted to showcase James Conner. Um, I love this guy playing for Pitt. Um, that, yeah, see, there's me missing a pass. I love him playing for Pitt. Um, and it, it's hard not to love the guy. I mean, you look at his story, and that's not what he wants to focus on, though. He wants to focus on being a football player. And we're going to give him that ability to focus on that. I don't know what Ben was doing there, to be honest. So, uh, the Browns run down and score another one. Missing the extra point. So, it's 12-0 Cleveland up against the Pittsburgh Steelers. We're trying to get James Conner involved in this run game. But so far, there have been no lanes. And then there's Ben missing Vance McDonald. And Cleveland will go down and score yet again. And yet again! Missing an extra point, so it's 18 nothing. I don't know what's going on, to be honest. I don't know if we're blocking them, if we're missing them. They might have gone for two there, um, just because they had missed so many. But regardless, there's a nice pass out. I believe that's AB, of course. Um, I've noticed a lot of injuries. You're going to see a lot of injuries are popping up. Um, I haven't noticed any of them to be major. There's a nice pass completed to Martavis Bryant. But it's something that I do need to change just because it's annoying. It's Connor going out for a screen, catches it, gets ahead of his blockers though. Only he gets four yards. So we're looking at third and six. Connor lines up in a tight end spot. And there's a nice pass to the new tight end for the Pittsburgh Steelers, Vance McDonald. So on second now we're gonna see Roethlisberger take a hit to get the throw, but there's Eli Rogers breaking away from initial contact. First and goal from the five. Bend to pass. Dropping back has time. It's Martavis Bryant. 
He's back from suspension, and he is going to score the first Steelers touchdown as we do go into the half. Apparently, we missed our extra point, too. So it's 18-6. to six. Uh, I don't know what any of this means, to be honest. So it was a very quick first half. Um, I actually did lose some footage uh, from the beginning drive just because my... Uh, our recording stuff is being very wonky. So, um, negative four rushing yards. Good, not a good start for James Conner. Not a good start for the Pittsburgh Steelers as they find themselves down by 12 going into the second half. You see Conner bouncing off of contact, trying to stay on his feet. That is the best game for James Conner, who now has positive yards. Second and two, a nice little shake and bake from Conner. Picking up five, there's another injury timeout. First down and 10, we're gonna keep feeding them. Trying to bounce it outside, there wasn't a lot there. Picks up four, so third and six. I'm taking off the field, Ben tries to do something. I don't know what that was, but he's sacked by Body Calhoun. But the Browns turn it over and the Steelers will get excellent field position off of it. Another injury timeout. Three yards for James Conner. Another handoff, another little bit of shake and bake. He picks up four, he's up to 20 yards on 12 carries. Like I said, I'm not used to these camera angles. Picking up another first down. So you're going to have to bear with me here early. But we'll see appropriate growth. There's a pass out to Vance McDonald. And he scores a touchdown in his first game as a Pittsburgh Steeler. We get to showcase a little bit of everything in this one. James Conner taking the handoff. Plows through a would-be tackler. And that's the James Conner that we know and love from Pittsburgh. Ooh, just lays down the body. That's beautiful. Third and 10. Bend to pass. Trying to convert here. Time running out in the third. He'll lob one for McDonald, but he doesn't appear to get his feet in bounds. Third coming to an end. We start from our own one yard line. Connor, though, with a decent run of five. Getting him out of the shadows. Up to 45 yards now. Um, we're, we're trying to salvage what we did in the first half. There's a pass out to Martavis Bryant. That's a first down gain of 19. And off to Connor up the middle. He's got a decent blocker, but he can't hold on to the linebacker. So Connor is stopped there for a gain of about six. Now we'll see third and two going back to the well. Doesn't work this time. So we're in the fourth quarter now. Still 18 to 13. The Browns have been shut down in this second half. And there's Connor with a nice catch along the sidelines. Got it figured out now. And that'll get him 20 yards up the midfield. And then Connor is taken out as Ben goes empty. Looking over the middle, finding Vance McDonald again. That's another first down. Second down and six for Ben. Connor goes out in the flats. Now cuts across the field, and that creates space for Antonio Brown along the sidelines. Third down and seven, though. We are getting close to the two-minute warning as Jesse James takes a big hit and does get injured. So Xavier Grimble will come in as the number two man. But there's a pass to McDonald looking for his second touchdown of the game and he is denied but the Steelers are knocking on the door can James Conner score his first NFL touchdown he will not here second down and goal they're backed up to the two yard line toss out for Conner using the speed to get to the edge there's a block James Conner his first professional touchdown in the NFL for the Pittsburgh Steelers and it will give them the lead they're gonna go for two to make it a field goal game here Ben back to pass Rolling out, he has all the time in the world, but he will be sacked. Now, unfortunately, what happened was, again, like I said, my uh, recording software was being a little fucky, so I lost the end of that game. But the Steelers come away with the 19-18 to victory, and there was rumors that they were going to go out and get Tevin Coleman, which worried me, because that would have instantly made me lose my starting position. We see they do make a trade, but it is actually for strong safety Keith Tandy. They send a second and a seventh. So for right now, my job as James Conner is safe. It was a little stressful, but we're still in it. Uh, the first game, like I said, didn't really go as planned. We're going to have to look to turn it around a little bit as we go up against Minnesota next week. They do have a strong defense again. Um, you know, 60 yards, but 27 carries. He got the touchdown that gave him the win, and he was decent in the receiving game. Um, I just personally have some work to do so I can be better, so James Conner can be better. But regardless, this is the series. Let me know if you want these games to be longer. I've kind of made this a short video just because of the intro. So let me know if you want these videos to be longer or if you like the length. Subscribe, 
like the video, comment down what you want to see, and I will see you guys in week two of James Conner's NFL career. Back from the dead.